Ah, salutations! The protector of the night has returned from his vigil. <laughs> you should have sustenance and rest. Oh, good. That sounds great. I am starved. Um, actually, um, a thousand pardons, Master, but this is for fairly little. You're not going to make her breakfast every morning, are you? I, I mean, you make it sound as if she's just simply staying here, but she is our housemate. I mean, she, you know, like, housemate. Any luck on tracing that text message, Spinelli? Well, I, 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 I've, I've gone through cyberspace looking far and wide and... Mm. The jackal calls this dish the elixir of Elvis. See, the king's favorite meal uh, was um, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, but in the interest of preserving your uh, delicate arteries, um, the jackal has skipped the frying process and just has the, the elements here. Um, critical food groups, okay, um, potassium, grains, protein, vitamin C. Um, is there just coffee? Yeah. Yes, it would be my pleasure. Oh, no, 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 don't. I can get it. Um, <clears throat> looks like Jason wants to talk to you. She's... Uh, Fair Lulu is unaccustomed to being pampered. Uh, maybe she just doesn't eat breakfast. Oh, I mean, can, come on, can you blame her? She She's obviously still reeling from the heartache of the knuckle scraper's betrayal, not to mention being in the clutches of the septic son of darkness. Who? Johnny Zakara. I mean, who knows what would have happened if we hadn't okay, stepped in? Now I need you to come back down to Earth. I need to find out who killed Letitia. Okay, look, Stone Cold. It's going to be really difficult to identify the loyal nanny's killer from the text message that Mr. Corinthos received. Are you serious? You're getting text messages from Letitia's killer? Wouldn't it take a lot? Letitia's killer texted you? Oh, I, actually, it was Mr. Corinthos, sir. Whoa, 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 hold on. Lulu, this doesn't concern you. I just wondered what the police had to say about it. <sighs> well, it is a, a, a vile, a vile twisted web that Sith Lord Lansing has woven through the police department with, you know, sinister spies that allow the denizens of darkness to slip through with the force of righteousness. That's enough. You are welcome to stay here as long as you want, but you can't ask questions about my business. And you, she should not hear anything that compromises her or puts her in danger. There are um, certain constraints to living at Cross of the Stone Cold. Um, one, don't ask questions about the business. Uh, number two, no listening in on conversations. And um, yeah, an increased likelihood of being caught up in armed confrontations. But there are, there are benefits, right? I mean, you don't have to pay rent. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you're free of the quarter mains. And um, you're assured a hearty and... Healthy breakfast. You know by now that I can keep my mouth shut. Not that I am interested in hearing the inner workings of organized crime. I'm just saying that if I hear something by accident, my lips are sealed. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Remind me why I pay you. Have you found a way to trace the message or not? Yes, the jackal has... The jackal has determined that the text message was sent from the phone of one Michael Corbin, the eminent father of Mr. Corintha, sir. I mean, sir, senior couldn't possibly have done this. It's absurd. So I surmise that someone with evil intent piggybacked the message on sir, senior's phone. Okay, I'm going to update Sonny here. Let me uh, refresh your job. Oh, <laughs> no, Spinelli, you don't have to wait on me. It's okay. No, Say it isn't so. You're not texting the demented denizen of darkness. You're texting Johnny Zakara? Hey, this isn't good news. Here. Spinelli traced the text message. Yeah? It was from your father's cell phone. Mike? 
Spinelli's on drugs. Okay, hold on. Spinelli uh, called it piggybacking. I guess you attach a text message to somebody else's cell phone. So it can't be traced. Right. Yeah. So anybody could have hacked into Mike's phone. It could have been the killer. It could have been somebody who just wants to mess with your head. Okay, let's just keep it simple. Let's let's say that it was somebody in uh, Sakara's camp. The son, Johnny, seems to have a death wish. What about Trevor, somebody with an enormous god complex? Okay. If we can find a way to prove that Anthony is a car or someone who works for him is responsible for that text message. Okay, it's almost impossible. It's a, well, it didn't work backwards. Hack into uh, Zakhar's phone records or someone close to him. What? Uh, how close? Uh, as close as you can. His family, his work. I, I, what is what is wrong with you right now? It's just the, the jackal is incapable of complying with your request. Look, I am Cyber Samson, stripped of my hacking savvy and web-wide strength. By what? <sighs> Okay, that, I, I need you to pay attention right now. Carly is back with the boys. They could be Zakara's next target. If Zakara sent that text, I need to know. It is with deep and humble apologies that I have to inform you I am powerless to comply. Court martial me if you must, strip me of my, my title in my stripes, but I, I, I am prevented from, from, from fulfilling my duties. What, what is the problem? But your grasshopper. If you'll see, is cracking under the pressure that I, I cannot achieve the stone cold status. Time for this. If Zakar is after Carly, I have to stop him. Look at night, Spinelli. It's because of me. I have something to tell you, and you're not gonna like it. Johnny Zakara has been texting me since yesterday. We've been sending each other messages, and I told Spinelli if he told you, I would move out. And you don't get to use Spinelli's feelings for you to manipulate him. I, I don't think that the fair one. No, trying... no, no, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I get it. But Johnny just likes me. There's no crime in that. <sighs> See if you can connect Johnny Zakara to that text message, son of God. Whoa, what? You think that Johnny killed Letitia?